What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord. Welcome back to the channel. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Anime Warlord, you've been gone for almost a week. How come you've been gone for almost a week? Well, I will gladly tell you. That's because I was putting together this. Now, this right here is my giant Yu-Gi-Oh! binder. Care to see what's inside for a little bit of a teaser? Well, too bad, you can't. Nobody can know what's inside just yet. Not even Squidward's house. Now, I'm not trying to imply the fact that this binder is not complete. It's complete. The whole entire binder is filled to the nitty gritty. But I'm just waiting for a day where I can show you this binder part for part. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why you can't see what's inside just yet. So, what's today's video going to be about? Well, you guys already read the title. I'm going to be doing another haul for you guys. This is my DVD and music haul. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, I'm going to showcase the CDs first, and then we're going to build ourselves up to the DVDs. Hope you guys enjoy them. All right, kicking things off for the CDs is the band Mayhem and their album Demon. Now, I've listened to a lot of Mayhem songs, and these guys rock. Next up, ooh, now here's a band that I know and pretty much everybody else knows too. Here is Guns N' Roses, and this is an album that I've actually listened to, and this is what got me into the band Guns N' Roses. This is their album, Appetite for Destruction, and everybody knows one of their most famous songs on this album is, I believe this is the opening title to this album, Welcome to the Jungle. You know the one that goes, Welcome to the Jungle! <laughs> Next up is... Racer X with Paul Gilbert. Now, I've listened to a lot of Paul Gilbert stuff, and oh my god, Paul Gilbert is badass. If you haven't listened to any of Paul Gilbert stuff, start right fucking now. Here is my very first live album for the band Death, and where are they live? Ah, live in Los Angeles. Very nice. Next up, here's a band called Massacre. Never heard of these guys before. But the next ones I have heard of, Morbid Angel. Oh yeah. I remember when me and the Metal Maniac would do like um, song suggestions back and forth. We still do that right now, but um, one of our earlier song suggestions that we did with one another when we were FaceTiming, he suggested me some Morbid Angel stuff, and they are so badass. So, Metal Maniac, if you're watching this, thanks, man. Next up, we have my very first Dragon Force album, and this is their album, Racing Into Infinity. <laughs> yeah! Now, I fell in love with Dragon Force the same way my generation fell in love with Dragon Force. They heard the song Through the Fire and Flames on Guitar Hero 3. Oh, yeah, baby. When I first heard that song, it was just like love at first listen for me. And I cannot wait to collect the rest of the Dragon Force albums. Next up, I have an album by the one and only Paul Diano. This is with his band Battlezone. And this is their album Fighting Back. Now, I love Paul Diano, especially when he was with Iron Maiden. Dude. He has written some of the best songs with Iron Maiden when he was in that band at that time before Bruce Dickinson took over. And do you know what the funny thing is? A lot of people don't really like the Paul Diano era for Iron Maiden. I don't know why. But you know what people say. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Next up, we got an album that everybody is familiar with. The Final Countdown by Europe. Do -do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. It's the Final Countdown. And finally, for the random bands, we have a band called... Dark Star. Now, just judging by the name, they kind of sound badass. I mean, come on, Dark Star? That's a cool ass name, dude. And finally, for the bands that are put in collections. First up, I have two albums by the band Venom. I have Black Metal and Welcome to Hell. Next up, I have three albums by one of my favorite bands, and that is Judas Priest. Next up, I have one, two, Three, four, five, six albums by the band Cannibal Corpse. Also, there is something that I want to point out here. This album right here by Cannibal Corpse, Gallery of Suicide. 
This right here is the censored version. No, they are not implying that the songs are censored. It's that the album itself is censored. I will show you the original picture. So this right here is the OG picture for Gallery of Suicide by Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. And you can only find the uncensored one in Japan. Maybe I'll be lucky to find this CD on Amazon or eBay. I don't know. I'll keep on looking though. And finally, last but most certainly not least, I have three CDs by the band Metallica. I haven't listened to Metallica in a really, really long time, nor have I collected any Metallica CDs. And now I have three. Woo! Time to build up that collection, baby. And finally, guys, it's time to showcase the DVDs. Kicking things off is my very first Blu-ray. Yep, that's right. Now y'all don't have to be like, I'm whining and bitching and going like, you know, when are you going to get Blu-rays? When are you going to get Blu-rays? Blu-rays, Blu-rays, when are you going to get them? Now I got Blu-rays, so y'all can just sit back and relax. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm really excited to check this out when I get a Blu-ray player. I don't have one at the moment, but at least I got my first Blu-ray DVD. So that's a good sign, right? All right, and the last thing for the anime is the complete series to Najika Blitz Tactic. Yeah, you want a lot of panty shots in your anime? Well, Najika Blitz Tactic is the way to go. <laughs> here's the first DVD. Here's the second. And here's the third. Now, I do believe that Nachika Blitz Tactic is made by the same director and mangaka who gave us animes like Agent Ika. Next up, ooh. Now, how many of you guys have seen this before? I know I haven't. 50 movies in one. What? That is crazy, man. I've never seen anything like this. But yeah, these are 50 classic horror movies in one. 50 chilling classics, as a matter of fact. I mean, seriously, like, look at all these damn movies, bro. This is insane. Uh, and there's a lot of late horror stars that I know. The most famous ones that I know in here are Christopher Lee and Vincent Price. Damn. 50 chilling classics. Now, that is definitely going to be worth a lot in the near future. But am I giving it up? I don't think so. Well, then, let's keep this horror movie train going, shall we? Next up, we have... Friday the 13th, The New Blood. This is part seven. All right, next we have Jason X or Jason 10. This was the movie before Freddy vs. Jason. And of course, the uh, Friday the 13th remake. And I cannot wait to collect the rest of the Friday the 13th movies. Next up, we have A Nightmare on Elm Street. No, this is not the original Wes Craven one. This is the Michael Bay remake. And honestly, I thought it was, eh, it really wasn't the best, but I still give every single movie a shot. No matter if I love it or if I hate it, I still want to complete the collection. <laughs> Next up, ooh, y'all remember this shit? The Goosebumps? Oh yeah, this is my very first Goosebumps DVD, and this is a double pack. All right, the next thing that we have is some Scooby-Doo. All right. The first one that we have is a movie. This is Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. And the next cartoon Scooby-Doo movie is Aloha Scooby-Doo. And for series-wise, we have What's New Scooby-Doo DVD 4. I am a huge Scooby-Doo fan. Always have been, always will be. All right, the next thing that I have is some kaiju. And they're all gamma related. First up, we have Destroy All Planets. And last but certainly not least, we have War of the Monsters. I'm really looking forward to checking these out because I've always been curious about the gamma franchise and I got my first two gamma DVDs. Yay! All right, guys, we're almost done with the haul. I just need to take a sip from one of my Deadpool mugs. good stuff and damn oh damn am i nerdy <laughs> i love it next up we have 
Merlin and the Book of the Beasts. Now, I don't judge a movie nor a book by its title, but um, I can tell just by looking at this, I think this is going to tackle a lot of things that have to do with Greek mythology. Really looking forward to that because I love Greek mythology stories. All right. Here is an animated movie called Heavy Metal. And from what I've heard, this is honestly one of the most weirdest animated features out there. I like weird, so I'm looking forward to watching it. And finally, last but most certainly not least, least? <laughs> I just turned into Elmer Fudd there for a second. And last but most certainly not least. <laughs> or maybe not just only Elmer Fudd, but I think I turned into Patrick. I thought you said weast. Oh, east? I thought you said weast. Weast? What kind of compass are you reading, lad? This one, sir. That's West, Patrick. You're fired again. Finally, last but most certainly not least, not least, we have the sequel for Atlantis. This is Atlantis, Milo's Return. All right, you guys, that concludes my CD and DVD haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos. I'm Anime Warlord once again. Stay nerdy, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in the very next video. Peace out.